<laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back or to my channel. My name is Jen and thank you so much for pressing on today's video. So we're here with the better of Minecraft uh, Let's Play, the first official episode and I have the most unlucky spawn in the world. What? Like... You see what's behind me, right? You see what's... I don't even know what this is. This is like a, a Mario show or something. And... I, yeah, I don't know. Like... But I guess let's let's get started with this. I have played a little bit um, of this just to play test and, and whatnot. So I don't really know everything that's in here. But I do know that, that these buildings, their spawn rate is a lot. And they... They leave zero to no room for you to build anywhere, is basically what I'm trying to say. So let's just get started then, I guess. So starting off, we spawned it on top of this little thing. And I have no clue what in tarnation this is. It looks like a Mario shell, if I'm being honest. There is a thing that says a village is that way. We're right here, so we gotta go this way. Right? No. We are right here. We gotta go this way? Yeah, we do. Okay. That's fine. Um, what number is that? I can't even see. I do need to hit some trees though. So let me try to get down here in one piece. Ah! Oh. Okay. Well, I'm gonna let them do that then. Burn! Burn! Well, first order of business, we're gonna have to chop down a tree. Um, personally, I don't want to be chopping down a tree right next to a zombie, but you know what? You're gonna get a choice. So we're gonna do it anyways. Sis is burning. I'm just gonna do it, and if it, if it hits me... There it is. That's one of them. I don't know where the other one went. Oh, it's gone. Okay, perfect! Even better for me. We'll just continue hitting this tree. Chop, chop, chop. And then we're going to try to go towards um, the village area, maybe? I mean, I kind of want to go... Yeah, I want to go that way. More than that way. But I don't know. We'll have to see. First thing is first, I do want to create a sword to protect myself with, of course. You never know. You never know. So, upon looking at this closer, there seems to be a little house underneath of this little, um, shroom abob. So, I think what I'm gonna do, I don't know why I fell there. What I'm gonna do is try to sneak past all these zombies, which is not even working because there's literally one running straight for me. But you're gonna burn anyway, so I'm not even mad. You can continue chasing. I'm gonna kill these cows, I'm sorry. I need your... Your stuff. Okay, I need your stuff. I'm sorry. I don't know what this thing is, though. I'm very curious, but I also don't want to stay in there for too long. I don't know what that is, and that's creepy. Okay. I have explored this place before. Oh! Galaxy Starfish? Raw bacon? I'll take that. Oh, I'll take it. Yeah, I'm not. What is this? A pebble. A pebblet. <laughs> and then what's over here? Oh, wow! An iron sword. Perfect. Uh, chain mill boot. Oh, no. There's even better one. Iron leggings and an iron boot. Okay, that's not necessarily that bad. All right. Oh, no. Is that the mansion? Oh god. <laughs> Literally, I'm telling you, I have like the worst luck in spawn ever. Is that like the little mansion where... Oh no. If, if you know what I'm talking about, I think that is. I don't know. I could be wrong. Oh, look at all these cows here. I can make myself a backpack pretty early on then if I can kill them all. I just need- I think I need eight. I could be wrong. Oh, 
That's five. Oh, there's another one right here. Please give me more than one. So two more. I'm not sure if there is any more. Could be wrong. Yeah, I don't think there is any more. That's fine. Whoa. Oh, wow. This place is so... What is that? This place is so pretty. What? Hold up. Let me try to go down without falling. What is... Ow. This. Is this like a shrine or something? I can easily break this, perhaps. And build it right there. This is such a pretty spot. Oh. I don't know how to get in there. But, wow, this is such a pretty spot to build a house. Oh my goodness, it gets prettier? What is this? Oh my god! I found a little dirt hut! So, it's the next day. It is currently morning time. I'm gonna continue checking around this place. Like, I feel like, despite this not being the greatest view, and the zombies screeching in my ear, I really like this. Like, I can change this little brown area to be all grass. This looks so pretty here, and I love that. And when the sun beams down on it, I bet it will look amazing. But I also see a space over there I think will look just as great. So let's go at... Oh, what is that down there? Probably a cave right next door. Like, I'm not really... I'm not mad about this spot. I think it's great. But let's go ahead and explore to the other side. We'll leave that cooking in there. We're going to explore the other side really quickly. Oh, wait. Let me... Let me make a boat. Maybe that will be easier. Alright, boat made. We're gonna just head on over to this little area here. I mean, there's no waterfall here, but wow. Holy cow, this place looks amazing. If you know anything about me, you know, um, or if you don't know anything about me, I love building homes in these type of areas. Oh, this is even better than the waterfall. Look at that right there. That's a view if I've ever seen one. Like, I mean, I can always chop down these trees, add a little more greenery to make it look better. But these look so pretty. I love a place where the sun, you know, like beams down next to the water. Oh my god, this looks so good. I hope there's no pillager stuff nearby. Because that would be annoying. Oh, wow. I mean, this place looks super good, too. Aside from the fact that there is, like, these... Oh! Oh, wow! There's a, a fishing rod here that I don't really need. Um, but I'll take them. Like, aside from these little ruin thingies, which I can easily, like, destroy, it looks so good. And then, what is this right here? I see more water here. Wow. Oh, there's a pillager camp right there, though. Oh, no. And there's that obstructing my view. But other than that, this whole, like, thing right there, I could build a house coming out of there, change up these woods a little bit, make them look a like a different type of wood. This is the place right here. This little house right here. I mean, the pillager's there, but I guess I can raid them. If anything, I'm not that mad about it. Okay. It has been determined. I'm building my house right here. Let's... Ooh. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm thankful that I saw this because this could be bad. Um, It's a whole ravine. That's not good. I mean, I can fill it in, though. Yeah, I can fill it in. It's water. Nothing's gonna spawn in there. Okay. Now that I found the place that I'm gonna build my home, I'm gonna go gather all of my stuff and try to... Well, let's check the map. 
um, yeah, we're gonna try to go and, um, make some stuff or whatnot. So I had a change of heart. Instead of building right away, I want to explore this. Why, you may ask? Because I need iron <gasps> to do what I'm about to do. And I don't want to go into, like, building without the right tools, you know? So I'm gonna explore this little building right here. Maybe put some torches up there so that I don't die. Preferably not want to do that. Oh, wow. Encyclopedia of Eden. What the heck is that? Music disc. What is this? Cat? I'll take these. Oops, I don't need gunpowder. Is this it? Is this literally everything? Okay, that's literally everything. Alright, well, let's close her up. And um, I guess let's just go in here. I mean, personally, I don't want to, but I do need stuff. So. Oh, wait, let me. What is that? Oh my god. Wait, let me get some more wood first so I have enough uh, stuff for this, just materials, you know? You guys let me know if this cave is worth it or not because for some reason when I went into this lichen cave, however you pronounce it, it was not worth it for me. I originally came into the cave for some coal and iron and in return I only found coal. Um, and ran into of course a enderman and a creeper of all sorts of mobs. Those were the first two that I had to encounter. Um, the creeper was pretty easy to deal with. I wasn't that mad about it. But I kept hearing other scary, like very scary um, mobs and it was stressing me out a little bit. I wasn't going to lie to you. Um, it was stressful. I never really stepped foot onto the platform itself, like on the like the ground part, because I was so scared that something was going to come up and kill me. Uh, so I just kind of stayed uh, hugging the side of the walls, which I guess if I went onto the ground, I would have gotten maybe more stuff. But... I don't know, like it was pretty scary down there and it didn't look like th I could see much from afar anyways. So I kind of left this cave empty handed um, and decided to venture onto a different cave. So let me know if this cave is worth it, if you guys ever explored this cave. But personally for a first time uh, caver uh, in this type of cave, it was not worth it for me. I also need spruce wood. So before I can even build my home, I am in desperate need of spruce wood. I don't have any. So that's a little a little a little sad, I'm not gonna lie. But I guess it will be fine. However, I'm I'm gonna need I'm gonna need uh the sheep here. Now I'm a I'm able to make um a bed, which is always fun. Slap this right here. Set that spawn point. Here. And then I'll even make myself a... What is this tree? An oak log? Ah! I can't get rid of it. I believe I found the home of a witch. Now I am not equipped to fight a witch. I have basically no armor, um, but I am always down to fight her at another time when I get a little more um, experience in fighting. Now I did find a little biome. I'm assuming this is the spruce. Yes, it is. Okay, the spruce biome, which is perfect because I need, oh God. I need desperately. Oh no. Oh well, I found. Okay, well, we're committing Minecraft sin and leaving that tree half done. I'm sorry, my thing broke. I'm not even gonna go any further. I have nine spruce logs, so I'm not even pissed. I would say this is a mission success. We made it back! Yay! Okay, so I'm gonna clear out some space to make a tree farm really quickly. 
Um, so that way I can plant all these trees without having a care in the world, uh, what happens. Alright guys, now that we have the spruce tree, I'm gonna go try digging a little bit in these little hollow caves to see if we can find anything, um, just to help build the house a lot faster. I'll be back. Okay. Well... I found something. Um, I know what this is, sadly. This is, uh... <sighs> Just as bad as a death wish, literally. Um, it's pretty bad to be in here. Uh, last time I remembered I was in here, I almost died, like badly. So, but luckily the place that we spawned in didn't have any zombies as yet. I'm pretty sure one or two is gonna pop out here out of nowhere like that what did I say oh god oh god oh god oh I flipping knew it They're literally coming out from everywhere! Holy crap! We're gonna go back here. I just now realized the reason why I couldn't put a torch down because I didn't have one. Stupid me. Oh my god! Oh god! What is wrong with you? Stop! What is that? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to kill you. I didn't know what you were. You scared me. You scared me, buddy. Oh no, I don't have a fishing rod. Oh god. The rest of this little cave thing was pretty bland. I mean, it was like structured that way. I... It did take a long time. I did have like some stressful moments because the sounds of the zombies were just getting way too much. I was like getting overstimulated. But um, I did get some pretty decent stuff, like a few enchanting books. I did get a couple of iron and diamond weapons and um, a couple of good gold, uh, iron, all that jazz, emeralds and stuff. I did get pretty much uh, a few of those things. I decided that I'm going to just go back and build my house anyways with some of the, you know, iron tools that I have and very little iron that I have right now. And if I really need some more, I'll just go and try to mine some like in hollow caves or whatnot that I find throughout the mountains. So I'm excited to show you guys the little house time lapse. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and start building the house. Um, I've gathered enough stuff, like granite especially, to go ahead and create this house. So I'm super excited to start and I'll just show you guys the time lapse. So when it comes to building this house, um, I decided to go with dirt. No, I'm joking. Um, I ran into some glitches with the mod pack and the texture pack that I use, which is the um, Mizuno's uh, texture slash resource pack. So I decided to just stick with dirt so that I can figure out what I was going to do because I needed to landscape, you know, how big the house was going to be. And throughout this, I realized that I need a lot of glass. So I found this... Um, patch of sand near my home and I decided to just completely take all the resources and leave the gigantic gaping hole in the middle of the water um or in the land part of the water so yeah if that bothers you I'm so sorry but I did do that um but anywho so into building the house it did take me a while I was struggling on the roof uh, I had to get my little sister to come help me uh with the roofing because I don't know what was going on with me I was just it was just not it I was just going through it um but she was helping me with the roof we were having a pretty uh fun time together and I was um well I only have one style of house and 
that style of house, I have recreated that style every single time I've played Minecraft. Like, I've never changed my style of, of house, I guess. And I always end up having a, a sunroom. Um, you can call it a greenhouse connected if you want. It's just more like a sunroom, I believe. And... I just love the look of a sunroom. It just opens up your home, uh, gives it more light, I guess, if you, if you will. And I just don't like the dark, you know, look in a house because it just, it just makes, it doesn't make you, it doesn't make me feel happy. But anywho, um, I did completely decorate the house, so I will give you guys a little bit of an inside house tour. So come along. All right, everyone. So this is the final of my home. Um, as you can see, it is right behind me and it took me a long, long time and a lot of grinding to get done. But we have it here. It's completely finished. Well, kind of. There's still some things in the inside that I, I'm not done with yet. But um, yeah, so I guess let's just give you guys a tour. So here's the front of my home. There's a lot of stuff going on, but don't don't worry, I think I'm gonna clear a lot of it out and then maybe put like a little farm here or maybe even like a little swing area. I'm not sure. You guys let me know down below what I should do. But this is like the front area. This is the open window to my kitchen. And then this is the little sunroom slash green room right here. And then the back. Let's not look at the back. Well, this side is where the... Well, you'll see what that is. I moved the chimney a little bit to... Um, and I guess let's just kind of get you guys in. We're going to open the door. And the first thing you see is this cute little, uh, what would this be called? Like, it was supposed to be an archway, but I had to put this oak plank here to keep this from, um, floating. And I ended up finding, uh, cute little leaves along my travels of looking for stuff. Um, so let's just give you guys a proper tour. I'm sorry. Okay. Proper tour. You walk in and this is my brewing station area, which could be subject to change. I do think I might want to switch the brewing stand area over to there just because it's a lot more room. But the sunroom is my storage room so far. I might upgrade it to be a bedroom and then have the upstairs be a storage room. I don't know. Like I said, I'm always changing things, you know, uh, keeping things different but here is the storage room as you can see um, I got these cute little head props from that little dungeon that we were in earlier and these candles too but I'm not sure how to light them so if you guys know how to light these candles do let me know but this is the storage room isn't that so cute ah, I love that okay here is the kitchen, my pride and joy. Okay, so I love a good kitchen. I ran out of the candles. I gotta make some more or find some more. Oh god, ignore that. Oh no, I don't know what this is. <laughs> ignore that. Ah! Well, we'll, do we'll deal with that later. But anywho, so this is the um, kitchen area. This is where I cook and little fireflies would fly through here at night, which is so cute. Um, I have like little... Uh, you know barrels up there a campfire down there you guys don't know uh the trick that's that and i have this like fireplace in quotation fireplace of um uh furnaces but i'm not done because i like i didn't have time or enough resources to add more blast furnace and furnaces so i just left this here for now like empty but they will be filled up eventually with other um stuff and i had some books uh and i found some books from the dungeon too so i made them into little bookshelves and look up there it's so cute right i don't you just ignore that you don't see that but anywho this is another little storage which i call this my little fridge or pantry area where i keep all the cooked food and the fruits and everything and everything up there is just more resources raw and i have a little hidden chest right here too so yeah i thought that was pretty cute going upstairs uh this is my bedroom so far like i said everything is subject to change um i have this little like desk here with my armor stand. I thought that was really cute. I have my two beds right here. Um, personal stuff like swords and stuff. Uh, enchanting books in here which I got a lot of these. Actually all of them from 
that little dungeon that we found. And then of course our ore box, which will need to be upgraded because I'm assuming we're gonna get a lot more stuff than this. But I did get a soul shard from the uh, dungeon. So let me know if you guys know what that does. But yeah, this is kind of my home. Um, it took a lot of resource going into this. It took a lot of time. My little sister had to help me with a lot of it and decorating and everything, but here it is. It's so cute. I absolutely love it. And this is the glitch I was talking about. So you see, this is oak plank. This is also oak plank. If you look really hard, if you have like a creative eye or you just like, if you can just tell, you know, like these two are completely different blocks, right? And that's basically what happened with the birch wood. And I just got really fed up with it. Nobody knows how to fix it. I was like, you know what? It's fine, whatever. I'll just keep things the way that they are, which is why that is also spruce. But this is spruce. Do you get what I mean? So like a lot of, I mean, I guess it just be a little patchy home, but it's fine. But I really like this house. I really like it though. It's so pretty. It's so cozy. Cottage quarry. Also kind of giving me a little bit witchy vibes. Let me know what you guys think about this house and this video in general. Um, comment down below what you think. Hit that like button. If you haven't already subscribed, if you're new to the channel. Hi, my name is Jen. I know this is a little bit late for an intro. <laughs> Sorry. But um, yeah. Um, hit subscribe if you haven't already and um i'll be back with another episode later so i'll see you guys in the next video if you don't know i create some videos too and other uh cozy game videos so go ahead click on my channel and um stay for a long long time never leave okay see you guys in the next video bye